sugar for that. Yeah. He released it on the seven inch and released it out of Japan and America. So th those strength there, I'm not stop give thanks to me. Reggae music. You know, not world just from, from like from the world music carnival. Obviously, you yes, get that's a world stage. Yes, fire. that is a world stage. It if is. If you're ever gonna be discovered, if you, you're you ever gonna to. be somebody or somebody or something, you are involved in something like that. Absolutely. The, the carnival, London carnival, is a showcase. It's a of, shop window. Of, it's a of, straight shop window. As from we knew it from in the days when Aswad and the Mute they used to perform. Plus the big artists them we used to come from Jamaica, Luchi and all them people yep. there. Plus the hip hop heads we used to get to used to come over as you know. We were we were blessed. R and B, what soul? Everybody, man, because we had from Omar and all those guys. You you sh we there, showcase so. the world's talent here right in here. London right every here. every year. It so is, you yeah. should be here. You know, watch, check it out, see it. And your performance yes. at the carnival was mm -hmm. amazing. It was it was a joy. It was you know it was one of those times when the people them was so nice, and the sound was so wide. The day was lovely as well. T-shirt with as well, and. I only, I never went there to to, to sing or perform, you know. Trust me, Panda. You, you just went there Celeste, to just I know. enjoy I went to I went to drop off a 12-inch that I had that had just been released to give to my brother to play. Make him play it. I met the people them get to know me. Uh -huh. So I gave him the ten, the 12-inch and he said, King J, you're now born a fire. So I said, what do you mean? He said, sing a one tune, man. And that was it. And when I started to sing, the people them just went, I was like, whoa, I couldn't believe it. The whole, the, no, <laughs> the whole corner just no, black no, off. No, all no, the window no, them no, up at no, top and everything, no, and the people them no, whistling no. and cheering. And I said, "Whoa, wait, why are you going there, sir?" And the camera them, who the camera they pan me? And I said, "What, Mama Ratsy and Papa Ratsy? <laughs> everything here." So I just moved with the vibration, and it was a lovely day. Me not lie, and it's gone around the world. I got work after that, my blessed. Yeah, I'm. Um, what, what, I know I, you've been busy since I, then. Was yeah, it, what, I went. From the carnival. Yeah, I got, I got, I went to Belgium twice last year on the strength of the, the video. So where did you perform in Belgium? I, be I performed with you, Brown, and Charlie P in uh, what they call the Door Festival in Belgium. Uh huh. Ten thousand people and inside at the tent alone, and when we look outside past the tent, are pure heads. I couldn't see the amount of people. Um, I performed at a Make It Burn Festival as well in September. Big up Ginger and all the people them, but I met down there. They were lovely people. You see me, I say. Mm hmm. I performed in Brittany twice, Nantes and Rennes, and the strength of what happened and in the carnival. Also in France, because that clip that I got. Yes, fire. That was on His Majesty um, Coronation, which is also my Earth Strong, November okay. the 2nd. Mm -hmm. His Majesty got coronated 1930, which is also my Earth Strong, as I say. And I flew to um, Nantes and performed with them, you, they, which I'm a virgin now. Mm -hmm. um, they call Zion Gate Sound. And what an awful experience because I was only meant to perform the Friday and I'm a, youth, a promoter come out of the crowd and I'm saying, King J, can you perform tomorrow with Solo Bantan? Yep. We're doing a dance over there and we might work out our agreement and get to meet one of my good, good friends you now. And I met Solo at um, the Door Festival for the first time. All right. Hard working DJ and I'm a little brother, you know. <laughs> you see me? Yeah, man, enough respect. So we performed on the Saturday night as well. Mm -hmm. So Solo performed on the Sunday night as well. And in, we went back to Nantes on the, on the riverside, you know. So I'm saying, King J, you know, I'm going to miss a bridge and I performed two nights straight. I'm tired. <laughs> My voice, not even horse, it gone donkey. You understand? Who, I said, I not even talk. They said, sing just two tunes, King J. And the people there, I said, down in Nantes, very knowledgeable about the reggae music. And I was, a, I was amazed, some of the things that I were telling me. I find that reggae music is big in Germany, what? Canada. Listen, listen, my brother is in Sardinia today. They're performing at the Sardinia Reggae Festival today, dear. Mark Whitey and Solo Bantan. Re I'll be there next year, Jawilin, you see me? Yeah. Sardinia, they perform in Sicily. They perform in Crete. They perform in Corsica. They perform in Italy, Germany. The whole of the... the, the what they call Scandinavia, which is Sweden, Finland. They go to, listen, they, my youth, them just come back from Japan. Japan? Japan. No, but it's big, it's big places like Huge. That. How do you feel that, how do you feel that filters down to the, the English UK market? Well, for? right now, you see, the UK artists what tend to go out there is Rasta. Uh-huh. Most are, the, are Rasta straight. So what happened is that the... Europeans and the worldly people them call me bridging down Australia, you know. Okay? And what happens is that they study the videos, they watch the films. 
rockers and all them type all of the, things. All them, all what? Them, what? The connoisseur what? upon that, my lad. I, that me I try to show you. They know these things. And so when a one and one fouled, and even you tune them, you think it, you think I just one and two of them, them have. When they find one and they like it, they want the whole catalog. They want to find out what the whole I, of the artists I once sing. did me a German DJ that had possibly every kind of record tune, reggae tune, Dub, Mad Professor, Scientist, everything. Java, Coxon. Everything. They, they, everything, put, say, put me to shame. They love the sound system thing because you see, when they go back to Japan and those places in Europe, they want the two big wool speakers. <laughs> they will, now tell you, they have the technology for build a little speaker box, them. Yeah, but they don't right. want that. They want the big sound speaker box, they want the miggle, and they want the tops. Oh, what? Well, that's the only way that sound can sound. So they go back to Croatia, they go back to Spain. I've got bridging, as I said, I've got work through this carnival. I've voiced the song, one at the moment called um, Chant Down Babylon, which is in Spain. Mm -hmm. I've done another one called um, from a bridging them in Belgium, Wicked Babylonian. I've done another one for a bridging down in, um, in Malaga again. All on the strength so of these. It's international already. Absolutely. This, because it, right just to help really show that the carnival can, in the right place, right time. Man, I tell you, man, it's wonderful. If, if you see the amount of, I've got a little Japanese friend right now, Kazuma, big up Kazuma as well, <laughs> who's here until the end of the year. And you see, he go over to Mad Professor Place, he go over to Shaka, he go over to Fat Man. Well, forget dubs and... To, to just talk with them, take picture with them, ask him questions, um, dissect the thing. Can they grow and love the reggae music? But so when they're here in London, they know that not only do we have the homegrown, but we have the influence of everything from the, the British upbringing. You've got the, the Eastern European, you have African, you have the whole of the Caribbean. This place is it's unique. It's unique. It's unique. And so when you mix up all of that, you can take it and go to the world. Big up Gossipi and those people who carry the reggae music, Jashaka, Nev Mabrejin. They're carrying it around the world. Mikey Channel One, mm -hmm. Jabul, um, Yup, Yup, um, Jayut Sound. They're carrying this thing, the reggae music and the message, which is what the people gravitate to. You know what they love? Apart from the sound box, them. They love the herbs. <laughs> they love to see the Rastam on them. They love to see this free thing and then you with them love again. Them here said so the youth them attack revolution. Revolution. They say this situation here with the you know the one percent are controlled the ninety five ninety seven ninety eight. Them now you know that. So that you see the youths them, they're growing, they're listening to music, they're checking the history, they're smoking some herbs and they're finding like minded people like them and the whole thing change. Everything I think, I think up. we're all much more aware now than Absolutely. we was many, many years ago because we have access to the information now. And we question everything. Every, of course. Before, you couldn't question authority, Bridget. You don't know. No, 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 no. First it was the, the police, then it was teachers, then me, it was church leaders. You never questioned them. But I no. saw the education system here when I grew up. Yep. Is that they taught me not to take anything for face value. If yes. I'm not happy with it, then question it. Absolutely. But when you question it, they don't like that. No. So you give me the teachings and say, go out. They got question it, and when you do it, you become a, a you, you are a threat. And that's it. Like now, that. now you're a terrorist yeah. or your organization. Whatever or label they want to put on you, but right now we say righteousness. It's as simple as this: you either do the thing and it's wrong, or you do the thing that is right. It doesn't matter what color. I don't care what titles or number letters they may have after your name. Where you're coming from. It's where your heart and your mind is. And the people them right now are dealing with that. So you could have Pope. You could have Prime Minister right now, even President. People now follow that. You have to deal with righteousness and people can question none of that. And we have more sense. Yeah, I hear you that. Right. So these are the times that we are talking about. I saw myself on the start of the album, you know. Yeah. For real. These are the times. The vibration is high, family, and it's getting higher. It, that's, that there is a certain mood at the moment. A lot of things have yes. changed. It's expensive. Yes. I know there's cutbacks, government movements. Yep. But for the me, the music. Yeah, that grow again. Makes me surf my yeah. way through that. Absolutely. You know, I can, you know when, you, when you have stress, <laughs> man can just play a tune and of just... Of course, ease out that. Our tune make you cry, you know. It is magic. Music, that's why Aina is blessed that we were ordained to do music and be with music. To share. It's that's a what, blessing. That's what we and do. connect. Yeah, and connect with people and have high vibrations and share that. You see me I say? That's what it's all about for I. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've just joined us live in the studio with me, DJ Wax, Master of Groove, on Tropical FM, is Donovan G. 
Jay King. Listen, this guy uh, blew up. He's been performing for a long time, but the carnival last year took him to a new height. Yes, He's live with us in the studio. We're going to take a little break, and I'll go over to my next video. And I'd like to thank my engineer this evening. It's our